guys. Welcome to Lunch Express. Um, so this is a 30 minute power class. I'll make sure to give you options for any level you're looking to work towards today. Um, and just in, you know, being honest with you guys, been kind of having ugh, an off couple days. I'm sure it's just normal and everything that's going on right now. Um, and mainly just so if you're going through the same thing where it's kind of hard to get on your mat, it's hard to do the things you typically enjoy doing and love doing, um, that you're not alone. <laughs> I think we're all collectively going through a lot of stuff. Um, and so I'm looking forward to this class. I'm hoping it gives me that little bit of boost of energy or the prana I need uh, that I've been lacking the last few days. And I know this too shall pass. So in that vein, this is going to be just a playful kind of free flow class. Um, perfect for if you've just not had the motivation or the willpower <laughs> lately. Um, so I hope we can explore and play in this space together. If you want to grab some great music to throw on, if you want to follow along with my music, I'm on my Spotify account, Bethany Lord, um, under Zoom Power 30-minute version. Um, so you can grab that. When you're ready, we're going to hit that first song together. I'll give you a couple seconds. Otherwise, if you want to just throw any of your own music on, go ahead and hit that first song, and we'll get moving. So come on to all fours, and let's start warming up. Hands under shoulders, knees underneath your hips. If you have a place in your house where you can be near a wall, that might be helpful today. If you don't practice inversions, don't worry about it. If you have blocks or a pillow or anything like that around, that will also be helpful for you today. As you exhale, round your spine, chin to chest. As you inhale, drop the belly, lift your heart mind. And so now finding some movement that feels good in your body. I want you to get as organic with it as you'd like today. Exploring your space today. What is it you need? Still moving to those cat cows, still just beginning to tune in to our breath. Find three more rounds. And on that third exhale, tuck your toes, lift your hips, find your first down dog. Pedal the heels, wiggle around, move around. Take your left heel to sky. Bend the knee, let that hip spin open. Circling the ankle out, or maybe you want to circle the knee. Press through that left heel, and I'm going to step that left foot up by my left thumb. Inhale into a low lunge. Exhale, step that right foot in and take an inhale. Come on up, warrior one. So press into that pinky toe edge of your back foot. Bend your hips forward in space, squaring everything off, finding rooted groundedness through the lower body. As you exhale, bring your hands down. Lift that right heel, step back down dog. Take your right heel to the sky, inhale. Bend the hip, bend the knee. And now really drop that right shoulder more to the mat. Circle ankle or knee, whatever you chose on that first side. Press through the heel. Bring that right foot by right thumb. I'm going to step that left foot in some. The toes are dramatically turned to that left side of the mat as you inhale, coming up. Press the floor away, breathe. Tapping into that inner warrior strength within you. And exhale, hands down. Lift the left heel, step back down, dog. Rolling forward like a wave through the spine. Plank. And then feel the heels drag you back, followed by the hips. 
and back. Take three of those. Final roll. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Hold. Tip to the feet in a good step or two. Bend your knees, get your navel on your thighs. You're taking three little donkey kicks to the top of your mat. So it might just look like that. That's great. If you want more, jump, kick yourself in the back. Jump, kick yourself in the back. Jump to the top of your mat, forward fold. Inhale, chair. Exhale, mountain pose. Inhale, chair. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Tuck the tailbone. Sit back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, look forward of your toes. And as you exhale, hop or step back. Up dog. Come back down through. Chaturanga. Press to plank. Down dog. In through your nose, out through your nose for three. Two. Step the feet in a hair. Squeeze the legs together. Bend your knees. Three little donkey kicks. Pop it up. Inhale. Exhale. Big toes together if they're not already. Inhale. Chair. Mountain pose. One more time. Start to feel that heat. Inhale. Chair. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale through plank or hop to chaturanga. Up dog. Come back through low plank. Press plank. Down dog. Step the feet in. Squeeze. And now play with this. Three hops. To the top of the mat. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair. I want you to begin to tap into that childlike, playful energy. Take your right foot, figure forward over left. Now, if it's too much, whoop, above that thigh. We can cross it here, cross the shin, sit into chair, you can even touch the big toe down. Single leg chair, flex your right foot, sit your butt back, stand halfway up, sit back, up, three, two, hold. How low can you go? All the way down, have a seat. Use your hands if you need. Roll back, so I've still got that figure four in my legs. Fingertips by temples, I come up and crunch, and back. Come up, crunch, get your shoulders lifted, your tailbone lifts, and back. Three, and back. Two, and back. Squeeze it in. And uncross those legs, rock and roll head to tail. Come up, chair. Sit into that space, squeeze everything into the midline. Taking left foot over right, find your single leg chair. Spread those toes, activate that foot. Stand and sit. Stand, sit. Three, two, and one. Play with it. If you need your hands, use them. This is my bad side. I might need my hands as I get down or not. <laughs> Come on down. All right. Flex that foot. Draw your navel to spine. Knit the rib cage in. Fingertips by temples. Keep the elbows wide. Come up, crunch, and tap. Crunch. Tap. Get your breath moving. Last one, crunch it up. 
and cross those legs. Get a little momentum. Come up chair. We're crossing right over left, single leg chair. Pulse. Feel that heat. Three, two, one. Stand right up. Take that heel behind, warrior three. Stand right back up. Take it back, warrior three. Come right back up one more time. Take it back. Land in this diagonal lunge. So I'm loading out forward. My right leg is super strong. And then I'm gonna reach back with those arms, draw your shoulders down and back. So the whole back body is fired up. Release that right hand and then switch. Left hand forward, right hand back. Like you're tracing them through water. One more. Let the inhale this time bring you up. Spin that right heel down right into Skandasana. Now notice this right heel is still tracking second and third toe. I can go all the way down or I can stay up high if you have blocks, use your blocks. Come back, warrior two. Whoop. Hello, carpet's not my friend. <laughs> Come back through, warrior two. Definitely not adding that up. Come forward to enjoy that. Come back, hold, three, proud chest, two, and one, come back forward, plant your right hand inside that left foot, come to the ball of that right foot, easy twist, take an inhale, as you exhale, I want you to thread the needle, reach underneath. Inhale, open up. Exhale, thread. Inhale. Exhale, one more. Inhale. Exhale, hands down, step back. Three legged plank. Step that left foot right back forward. Warrior three. Step back. Hands down, three-legged plank. Step the left foot forward, warrior three. And step back, three-legged plank, left foot back. Tap, lift, tap, lift. You can always drop the knee, three, two, one, three-legged plank, chaturanga. Top of left foot followed by right foot. Hold, drag yourself forward more. In that left knee. Come on over, wild thing, to the right. Come back through plank, chaturanga. Up dog. One more time. Bend the knee. Left knee. We're going right again. Come right. Wild thing. Come, come center plank. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Stay and breathe. Maybe take child's pose for a few quick breaths. Step the feet in, squeeze the legs together, squeeze the knees in, find your three little hops. Third one, pop it up, inhale, half lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, chair. Taking left foot over right. We're gonna come through those little pulses. Sit back, just about a two inch lift and press in on each side. Four, three, two, and one. Stand tall and proud. Flex that left foot, go back warrior three. Come right back up. 
Slide back to warrior three. All right, back up. Last one, warrior three. Land, diagonal lunge. Stay strong through that back leg especially. Reach your fingertips long back. Spread the finger, lift through the palms. Now start to draw the navel away from the thigh. Engage more. I want this standing like this right glute should be on fire. Left arm sweeps forward, soft. And switch to breathe and let the arms move. Finding lightness in the upper body. Rooted strength in the lower body. One more inhale. Exhale, switch. And as you inhale, that left arm guides you up. Pull that back heel in, right into Skandasana. It could be up here. Be mindful of your hips and knees. And if you're on carpet, <laughs> we're coming right back up, warrior two. Come back. Higher option here. Come back. One more. Skandasana and hold. Spread the toes on that right foot. Breathe and smile. Take an inhale as you come back. Left hand down, right hand high. Breathe in, find length through your spine. And as you exhale, thread, hug, try to keep your navel pulling away from that right side of. Inhale. Make sure you're not dipping into that back hip either. Your left leg stays strong. Exhale. Inhale. Two more. Exhale. Pull your belly in and away. Inhale. One more big exhale. Inhale. Hands come down. Step back, three legged plank. Feel free to drop your left knee if you need. We step that right foot forward. Warrior three. Hands come down. Step back, land the left foot. Three legged plank. Right foot forward. Press out of that back foot, warrior three. Hands down, three-legged plank. Last time, step it forward and fly. Hands down, three-legged plank and hold. Lift, tap. Three, two, and three-legged plank, chaturanga. Top of right foot followed by left. Hold, drag yourself forward more. Open through the collarbones more, draw your shoulders back. Bend that right knee, roll to the left. Wild thing, you can always drop this back knee and do it on the knee. Come back, plank, chaturanga, up dog, bend the right knee, go left, wild thing. Come center, last one, chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Coming down to all fours. We're gonna walk ourselves back and come on up like you're setting up for camel, but we're not actually doing camel today. So I want to look back, make sure the feet are about a block's distance between them. And so as I press in the tops of the feet, especially the pinky touches of the feet, hands come into prayer, and I wanna keep my entire midsection core like a solid plank. I'm going back into the strength of these quads in my core and I'm coming right back up. Notice I'm not bending anything like that. 
the solid plank with my body. Press the feet down, especially the pinky toe edges of those feet. Draw the tailbone slightly underneath, especially if you're like me and we like to go all, you know, whoop, gymnastics dismount, pull it in. Here we go, take a breath. Now just go to where you can breathe. Exhale. Press into those feet, inhale, come right back up. And so move with your breath. We're gonna go through about five. All right, back up. One more. Take it back to where you can go. And up. Hands down. Take a cat cow. And cross with the ankles. Pull those legs down. All right, so grab a block if you have it. If you don't have a block, don't worry about it. We're just moving through some core real quick. Taking the legs up, long overhead. I'm gonna take the block if I have it. If you don't have one again, a ball or anything would work. And I just wanna keep my palms pressing into this block as I take my biceps over my head. Make sure your tailbone is kinda on the mat. I'm not arching through the low back and I'm pulling my belly in. I'm gonna take this left leg down long and straight. If I need to bend the knee and put the foot down, I can. I'm gonna crunch and reach outside of this leg, spread the toes. Inhale back. Exhale, get your shoulders off the mat. Inhale. Eight. Breathe and move. Inhale. Exhale. Two, hold this one up. Little pulses, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Both legs and arms go overhead. Reach up past the block or just pretend. And back up, only going as far as I can. Hollow front belly and back pressing into floor. Three, keep breathing, keep moving. Grab that block in your hands, reset, hold. So right leg goes down long, flex the feet, press through your heels, keep your back strong. Crunch outside of that left leg and back. Crunch and back. Here we go. Eight. You can always bend the knee and put that right foot down. Three. Last one. Hold or pulse. Six. Four. Three. Two, one, legs up. Release that block, bring your knees into your chest, rock and roll. And grabbing your block, if you have it. If not a ball, or we can pretend again. I'm gonna take the block between my forearms here. And I wanna flex my hands. Um, so this is a great forearm stand prep. It's also just a great tool to kind of teach you that rotation between. So get your arms into this 90 degree angle here. I'm gonna squeeze my forearms in on that block. I tap my fingertips down and bring them back in. So come forward, tap. Really great for the rotator's cuff as well. Bring them up, tap. And in for three. And in one more. In release the block. Rock and roll up. 
All right, if you have the block, we're gonna use it for our dolphin pose. Final little bit of power for you here. If you have a wall nearby and you'd like to go up into forearm stands, you can. If not, dolphin is where we'll stay today. And so I wanna use this block though. I'm gonna bring it between my forearms again. And if you have any tightness in your shoulders or those rotator cuff exercises just felt impossible, take your hands so that the palms are up, make a fist and get little Fonzie thumbs and squeeze that block. It feels really weird, but if you have tightness in your shoulders, it might actually help you get up. Otherwise, hands are normal. I just want, I'm squeezing in on this block. Notice how when I squeeze it in, my shoulders just drop down. So from here, squeeze that block, lift your hips, find your dolphin pose. Nice, strong dolphin pose. So option, we can take the leg up, shift the weight, and set it down. Lift that left leg up, shift, and set it down. If you want to lift, notice my face comes forward of that block. Press the floor away. I can lift. If you want to take a few little attempts at it. Try one more time. And when you're ready, come on down. Or move that block out of your way. Child's pose. And gently rolling up. Have a comfortable seat on your mat. And let's find straddle in our legs. So we're moving any flesh from the sit bones. Sitting nice and tall, looking at your feet, toes are at 12 o'clock, knees, everything's kind of lining up at that 12 o'clock. If we're having trouble sitting tall, you could pop a pillow, a block, anything you got around under your bum. You can take your hands back to help you sit tall here, or we can slowly crawl forward. Gently rolling up. And so coming back to that nice, comfortable seated position. The hands are gonna come outside this right leg, kind of framing that thigh. And without letting my uh, left sits bone lift off or my right, Lord, I'm backwards even on film guys. I'm gonna flex the foot, kind of press through the ball of the foot, lift, tap, lift, tap. Three. Two, one, sit nice and tall and come long over that thigh. Gently rolling up, switch sides. So I'm on my right this time, 50-50 shot, right? We're doing both. Sit nice and tall, engage through the low belly, press through the ball of the foot, lift, down. Try to sit as tall as you can, try to fight the urge to lean back. Three, two, one, land, sit tall and come forward, fold. Breathing in as you roll up. Bring the soles of the feet together. And we're going to slide them in a little bit closer to start. So more of a traditional cobbler's pose. Take your hands behind, though. 
And so if we're really tight to the inner thighs, this might be enough, pressing the feet together, butterfly those knees down. If your body's okay with it, I'm going to lift the bum and butterfly those knees. Gently release down, come forward, rounding as you draw your nose towards your toes. Breathing and rolling up. Let's just take the legs into one final, just easy pop pose. So it could actually just be easy pose right here, legs right in front of one another. You can take your right foot to thigh, calf. If you like full lotus and you want to come full lotus, go full lotus. But sitting tall, let your palms rest open for just a moment. And so hopefully, that quick little burst of energy and power in that class helped kind of move some of that prana or energy out of you if you're feeling that same heaviness that I have been. And if you're not feeling it today, it kind of comes and goes and lives, right? So that's the good news, is if you're feeling it today, right around the corner, you're gonna feel the light at the end of the tunnel again. And so being able to feel all our feelings and be okay with what it is for today, but there's things we can do sometimes to make ourselves feel a little better. So I want you to sit tall, feel grounded underneath you with the sits bones, hopefully feeling a little heat in your core still from that class. I want you to keep that and hold on to that light within you, that fire within you. And so each breath, feel the oxygen go down to that fire, almost like you're fanning those flames. You let it start to expand through your body, through your heart space, down the arms. And then let your inhale, circle the palms overhead into prayer. As you exhale, draw them down, connecting mind, heart, and spirit. Thank you for joining me for this quick little afternoon flow. I hope you enjoyed it. I miss you all so much. I cannot wait to hug you all. I will see you soon. Namaste. Bye, friends.